Hello, so you probably have seen last CS2 update in which Valve released a note that you can get $35,000 for making your own CS2 skin. So today I will give you probably the simplest tutorial how to make your own CS2 skin. Alright, so step number one is open your Steam and go to library. After you are in library, go to CS2, click right click, uh, properties, then in general select here ask when starting the game. Make sure it's uh, selected here. Then go to DLC and then click on Counter-Strike 2 Workshop Tools. If you don't see this option here, uh, you can search for it, it should appear. If not, you can comment down below uh, or join Discord and ask on the chat. I will for sure try to help you with it. Okay, so after you have it, you click Play. What will open is something like this. It will ask you what you want to open. Uh, you want Workshop Tools. You click Play right now. Now you should see the big page like this. Uh, with the option in the middle, launch workshop item tools. You click on it, it will take 20-30 seconds to open fully. Alright, and now you head back to your web browser, you go to workshop finishes. I will give you the link to it uh, down below. Uh, you go to finish styles and you select what finish you want your uh, skin to be. So here are the examples. And here in this uh, tab that opened, the workshop item editor, are you know exactly the same. So for instance, if you want to do anodized multicolor or anodized, you just select here. Let's maybe do for the example anodized multicolor like this. And here you select the gun, you want your skin, you know, uh, like what skin you want to create. Let's go with, let's say, maybe M4, like it was. All right. Uh, here you can select the scenery in which you can want to see your skin. So maybe let's go with dust too, as it was as well. And here is the most important thing. Here you make your pattern. Here you want to make like pretty much your skin. So what you need is open your favorite program to make uh, paintings. It can be either Paint, uh, Paint 3D, GIMP, it can be uh, Photoshop. I think Photoshop is the best. But for the example, like the simplest way possible, I will just give you the example in Paint. Uh, you want to make a square, which is either 2048 per 2048 or 1024 per 1024. And now you just make your pretty much your pattern. So I will just give you something very, very simple to just don't waste your time. Let's do something like this. Simple, you know, uh, colors like this. Of course, this is like, let's say, a 30 second skin, so it will not be the best. But if you have time, you can really do something really, really good. All right, now head back to your web browser again. You need to convert, because you saved your file in PNG, you need to go here and you need to convert your PNG file, this square you did, this, this pattern you did, to TGA. I will give you also the link to it in the description. You click convert and you wait for it to be done. After it's done, you click download, you get your file right here. And then you head back to your workshop uh, tools. You click here on this folder, open containing folder, like this. And now you need to go and search for your uh, TGA file that you converted and just simply drag it in here. Now it's here, that's very simple. And you go here to search and you search for your own pattern you did. It's this, right? You click on it, you click accept. I can close the paint right now pretty much. Uh, and now that's your pattern, that's something you did. Here down below, you have different options. For instance, uh, pearlescence mask, uh, you know, custom stuff you can add, like ambient occlusion. Uh, you can pretty much just find your way around this. You can, you know, uh, change this to your likings and make, you know, your desired skin. Now I will just give you the example what we did pretty much. We click inspect here and we can see our skin, something like this. Uh, it's just a basic, basic, basic skin. We didn't really put much effort to it, so it's not really uh, perfect. But if you take time, if you make something really, really good, you can make a great skin. Uh, just one more thing, you go to preview here, and after you click preview, you can load into the game, into like, this will be Dust 2, because I selected Dust 2, and you can like, you know, inspect your skin in game, how it looks, in different lighting and stuff, and here go to, you know, the darkness and see. And the last step, after you perfected your CS2 skin, is uh, head back to Workshop Item Editor. You click Publish, right here, in the right top corner. Uh, you select your skin, you select what type of weapon uh, you did. Like, this is M4, so I selected M4 here. Uh, you select if this fits more the Arabian mythology or the spy tech for the Call to Arms. Uh, you click Submit like this. You can just, uh, you know, capture it for better quality. You click Submit like this. It will forward you to the web browser. Here you need to do, I think, mainly two things. Like most of you will have to do two things only. Here you need to verify your email that you actually are the person who owns the account for submitting this uh, 
item. And also, if you get your skin to the game, actually, just make sure you do the payment information. Because if you actually manage to get your skin, uh, they need to know where to send $35,000. So you, you know, just give them some information they require. And that's pretty much it. If you have some questions, you can join the Discord and ask them there, really. Also in the comments, please like and subscribe. And also big thanks for video sponsor Pirate Swap site on which you can buy, sell or exchange your CS2 skins. You select skins you don't really like and you can get here your desired skin. Also, 35% deposit bonus with code AUG and $30 on the first three trades. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.